Hey there, it's Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for JanSpiller.com with your monthly horoscope. And this one's for you Pisces. We're heading into April 2020. There is a lot of crazy stuff going on right now as an astrologer. I'm working to interpret the astrology and see some of the things that are being supported right now, some of the things we can do. I'm really happy to be presenting all 12 sun sign video horoscopes here on YouTube starting this month and every month you'll get to see your video horoscope for free right here. So be sure and subscribe and keep up to date. I'll also post some videos that will keep some of the bigger picture astrology in mind and may offer a broader insight as far as what's going on right now. So for you Pisces, as we go into April, let's see what is going on. The sun will be shining in Aries through the 18th. This could help you get motivated when it comes to organizing money matters and maybe going after some money making ideas. Now that we're clear of Mercury retrograde, it could help you gain some clarity about a decision or a purchase you've been considering. It's generally a time to be more conservative with finances, but some well thought out decisions with money could be just what's in order right now. There could be something on the list that you purchased that really helps you out right now. Now this month's full moon on the 7th is gonna be in Libra, and this is shining a light on your closest relationships. If you do feel some discord with a loved one, it could be that one or both of you are feeling a sense of unfairness. That's what this Libra full moon can highlight. Analyze your situation and find ways to restore some balance in your relationship. How can you meet each other halfway? Now the powerful conjunction between Jupiter and Pluto that began last month is going to be exact on April the 4th. These two planets make a strong pairing and it's going to help you attract some opportunities. You're primed to make some beneficial connections this month, but you'll need to use verbal or written communications. As you know, we're not really interacting so much physically here. Don't offer more than you can realistically give and put your energy towards the people and causes that are most important to you. When it comes to the use of your good nature, friendship, time, and talents, think carefully. Think quality over quantity as far as how you put your energy out there. And you can really feel fulfilled that you're doing your part. You're doing what feels right to you. Now, Mercury will finish its travels through your sun sign on the 10th. It's going to enter Aries on the 11th, between the 11th and the 26th are good times, good days for networking efforts, especially when business or money is involved. Now here's a heads up. We're going to enter the shadow of Venus retrograde on April the 10th. And some people might feel the retrospective energies of this planet um, around this time, but the official dates are May 13th to June 24th. What that means is this month is the pre Venus retrograde time where you can get organized. There's still a window of time to maybe make some decisions, even if they're temporary decisions, money matters, relationship questions. They could get some resolution this month or put on hold mindfully. You might be resolving a situation related to your family or your childhood during this Venus retrograde cycle coming up. And it's not going to be good timing for moving or changing your residence, anything like this. It's, you know, clearly in the world, the time to stay put, but also this is what the astrology is supporting. Now, if you must change residence, sign a lease or conduct some sort of real estate transaction between May 13th and July 12th, Definitely go above and beyond your normal due diligence to double check inspections and other reports. It is possible to successfully navigate this Venus retrograde time period, but you simply need to be more thorough and take extra time when considering decisions. Gather as much information as possible. Venus is retrograde in Gemini, which rules our intellect and information. 
Avoid letting emotion or other people's opinions cloud your better judgment, that inner voice of logic that you have that can sometimes get off track when emotions are stirred and elevated. <laughs> now, Pluto is going to station retrograde in Capricorn on the 25th. And this is, will initiate a cycle that's going to last until October the 4th. During the time Pluto will be retrograde, you're likely going to be reviewing some of your bigger picture dreams. It's time to get practical and decide what it is that's really worth committing to. Now, this month's new moon on the 22nd will be in Taurus. This supports your intentions related to long-term relationships, communications, learning your self-worth, and staying true to your word. These are all positive intentions that can be set at the new moon, and I hope you can make the most of this month's astrology. Please have a safe and happy month of April, and I will see you back here next month with your horoscope.